had a question uh, regarding uh, how to deal with pressure because representing a nation at an international level is not that easy. Also, a smallest mistake might like cost you a lot, and you have to think at the same time. So it's very difficult. How do you deal with that? Uh, so, like I think I mentioned before, the physics Olympiad that was like a eye opener for me because I think before that I'd always ended up making a lot of mistakes in the big moments, and that ended up like lowering my best performance. So after that, I I did focus a lot on more exam temperament and like you know being okay with whatever happens. And I think um, especially when. I was in Brazil. Before that, we had some mock tests in camp. Like they have a camp before you go to Brazil. So there, when they held the theory test, I remember I performed very poorly in that. So that was also like because of the same reason I became too stressed or too tense. So I think the most important thing is to kind of uh, realize that no matter like being stressed is not going to help you, and and if you find something difficult, um, it's going to be difficult for everybody and you just have to like trust your preparation and trust your, you know, whatever you've done before that point instead of, you know, worrying about what's going to happen. There's also one more question, slightly off academia, but how was the experience of Obibaba and Jamia Center? Like, I went there twice. Once was for about 15 bits in, that was in May for this selection camp, so there were about 35 people there. And then I went again where there were only five people, like five students and some teachers. That was the pre-departure camp. So I think the the selection camp is a very, very fun. Like it was probably some of the most fun 15 days I've ever had. Because you have a lot of students, the 10th, 11th, 12th, all grades. And usually since it's astronomy, you end up staying late till 2 in the morning to look up because the sky becomes clearer and it's much more dark. So a lot of fun, we used to play games and stuff and I remember uh, especially after the exams were over we played cricket in one of the lecture halls with an uh, eraser and stuff so you make a lot of friends and it's a very enjoyable experience oh, also uh, on the track, like usually they take you guys to some places a bit out of the city because um, of light pollution so around 5 hour bus drives and stuff so we ended up staying there for a night as well so there are like a lot of things like not only from academics that you also learn a lot about you know other people because people come there from across India like some people come from like Kota some people come from you know uh, West Bengal some people come from Bihar some people come from Mumbai some people are from Mumbai or South so it's uh, it's like a huge uh, how do I say huge cultural a lot of cultural gathering. In tenth, I used to go to school. So I used to go to school quite a bit, like almost every day. So there, I used to play sports a lot. But in eleventh, twelfth, I used to like try to go to play every weekend and as and on the weekdays as many days as I could. And so I used to play stuff like badminton or squash or cricket or football. So that used to be my way of, you know, keeping my health. I also have a dog, so I used to play with him and that also used to be a lot of exercise. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your big achievement. One question I have is, uh, what, are the, uh, what are your academic, uh, what can I say, challenges that you face and how do you overcome it? Uh, academic wise, I think I've mentioned already the physics, that was the physics Olympiad was oh, probably preparation and things like that. Preparation, I think every, with, no matter what you study, there's always like some topics that you don't, you're not going to grasp immediately. Like for me, in physics, the electromagnetism portion, that was like a very hard topic for me to grasp. So I think whenever you struggle in something, what I used to do was I used to kind of write it all down and try to teach it as if I am teaching somebody else and that usually clears a lot of your concepts and uh, I think you have to prioritize what you're not good at over what you're good at even though like I think initially I used to if I wasn't like for me chemistry was I wasn't very good at chemistry so instead of I should have been doing that more because I wasn't good at it but I ended up doing that less so I think 
it's important to fix what's actually broken and not focus on the stuff that you're already good at. One last question. Yes, Peter. Okay, so during this journey, right, I'm pretty sure you'll have come at a point where uh, you'll have to choose between two things. A uh, VR Olympiad and some other thing. And be, you, you have to be strong enough to make it. So were there any and what are the solutions? Because you, in this space, there will be a lot of things coming into your life. So how are you able to manage them? Uh, I did have to choose. I think um, in January this year, they ask you to choose your preference for your subject. So basically before you give the Olympiads, you have to choose if I do end up making it to a camp in some subject, uh, which one would you rather prefer to go to? So there I had to choose between astronomy and math. So there I failed astronomy over math. Even though identity, I was more interested in math at that time, but I still failed astronomy over it because I, because I had just interested in math. So I decided to prepare for that that year. And I prepared for Math Olympiad and that year it was it got delayed a bunch of times because of COVID. So it ended up being the first stage ended up being in March of the next year. So within the span of five months, the next year's Olympiad cycle also began. So I ended up doing maths for about a year and a half, after which I moved to Physics Olympiad and Astronomy Olympiad as well.